and writing in component form. What we're basically going to do is I'm going to say, uh, first thing I'm going to lay is each of, these each of these points I'm going to say has a component. So I'm going to call this P1, and I'm going to call this P2. I'm going to call this Q1 and this Q2. Okay. So either of these points kind of have their own little components, right? You could think of them as like their x and y values, but I'm just looking at them as far as their components. Now, the first thing to kind of make sense of this is I'm going to graph my p and my q. So p is at negative 2, negative 1. And q is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. So that's what pq looks like. Now, again, my purpose of this is I want to be able to write this at the origin. Okay, So what we're basically going to be doing is we want to be able to find the general difference in the change, the change from p to q as well as the vertical change from p to q. So to write this in component form, I'm going to say pq is equal to v, which is going to equal to you're going to find, what we're going to do is we're going to find the change in my, in my x coordinates over with the change in my y coordinates. So I'm going to do q1 minus p1, comma, q2 minus p2. Again, all I'm simply doing is finding the change. All I'm doing is finding the change in the x and the y coordinates. Okay. So. And I'm going to call this vector, instead of calling it vector pq, I'm just going to call it v. So therefore, I have 6 minus a negative 2, comma, 3 minus a negative 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I know my graph is not perfect, but do you guys kind of see that those vectors look pretty much the same, right? They have about the same magnitude, and they have about the same direction, correct? The difference is, the difference is that my vector in component form, my vector in component form, which I could say that's v1 and that's v2, those are my two components, has an initial position at where? Zero, right? Now, it's really helpful, and again, I'll explain that. The other thing I want you guys to notice is I represented my vector. You guys can see in component form. Look what I used. I used component form as kind of these slanted parentheses, right? Now, let's look at slanted parentheses kind of reminds me of regular parentheses. But regular parentheses gives me a point 8, 4, which is right there. So the difference between a parenthesis 8 comma 4 gives you a coordinate point. Slanted parentheses, 8 comma 4, gives you a directed line segment from 0 to 8 comma 4, which is what we call our vector. Does that make sense a little bit, kind of? OK? So just remember, this is saying that's a directed line segment from 0 to the point 8, 4. Directed line segment. That is just a point. OK? So now we found component form. 